Joe Biden getting a new batch of migrants dropped off at his front door. Texas sending a second busload of illegal immigrants to Washington as Governor Greg Abbott feuds with the White House over our wide open border. If they're not going to come to the border, I'm going to take the border to them in Washington, D.C. These are all migrants who have been processed by CBP and are free to travel. So it's nice the state of Texas is helping them get to their final destination as they await in their, their outcome of their immigration proceedings. And they're all in immigration proceedings. Mm, Republicans also calling out Biden's hypocrisy on ending Title 42, the COVID policy that lets border agents kick out large groups of migrants. Biden is still forcing Americans to mask up on planes for the next two weeks. Kill me, I wish you would mask up permanently, but that's a story for another time. So mean to. Don't you well, find... By the way, that was in the prompter. It's not your fault. <laughs> it was in the yeah. prompter, yeah. yes. Um, it's kind of... It's kind. I have to admire Abbott for what he's doing. He's basically taking the border crisis on a road trip, yeah. you know, to visit its baby daddy <laughs> in D.C. Right. Uh, see, they keep saying, oh, it's a stunt, it's a stunt, it's a stunt. It's nothing about... I don't believe, until I really had a chance to listen to him, I don't believe that Abbott's doing this to win the governorship again. I think he's unbelievably frustrated. I think also he took a big risk slowing down at the legitimate border crossings. Mm -hmm. Everybody coming in to check the cards for fentanyl and for illegals. Everybody's mad at him. But guess what's happening? The mayors in Mexico and those governors are starting to act, say, yep. what is it going to take in order to uh, free this up? And, and just uh, one other thing to add to this. The, the, the uh, buses are a third full. They're getting out. I feel bad for these people. But there is no way they belong here. They're not. Yeah. They're being they're used. Go by it is so in two days. But it's. Uh, but it, they, there's a way for them to get jobs in two days through a work visa. Not this way. And Joe, Joe Biden doesn't have a bad policy. He has no policy. Mm -hmm. And all these Democrats, like Kelly, uh, outside cinema, and these other Democrats that now are coming out against one in the border, like Maggie Hassan. Mm -hmm. I don't believe a word of it. Beto O'Rourke. Mr. Yeah. Take down the wall? Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> Come on, now they're running because they know they know Americans care about what's happening. And, in the and also, it's one of those problems that are that the, the media helped bury, but now they can't bury can't it because help. you have these visuals. And again, yeah. this, we we talk about this on the show a lot about how leaders need to experience the crisis they ignore, and that's what Abbott is doing with. Yeah, so um, last week when I was about to host Fox News Sunday, I called Bill Malusian, our very own. Mm -hmm. And so he's at the border for us a lot. And he said that he has not seen a single other network mm -hmm. on the border reporting Good since point. last Good fall. Point. So now, because this is getting brought up at the White House briefing and you have these kind of images, it is everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's working out the way that they think it is. Like, they're calling it a political stunt, but that's what politics is. The question is, is the stunt effective? And for two reasons, I think it is. One, people that all live and work in Washington, D.C. are like, well, we, no, we didn't want them coming here. Right. Yeah. And then the second thing is that you have all of these vulnerable Democrats, you mentioned a couple of them, coming out and saying, no, we can't have this. We absolutely can't have this. The ironic thing is, is that Title 42, which was the health thing, mm -hmm. it was supposed to basically delay this large part of the political fallout. But now the administration is going to lift it six months before the midterms. It's nuts. So it's just, it's it, it backfired. That's yeah. why I don't think it's going to happen. What do you think, Carol? Because it is six months before the midterm. Um, I think that Abbott is a hard-nosed showman. This is this is a big, uh, you know, uh, uh, P.T. Barnum act that he's pulled here. You don't think he's really frustrated? I, I, I'm not talking about sincerity or what motivated it. It is a big, big uh, uh, show. Uh, but when you look behind the show, the fact of the matter is something that you alluded to. In Nuevo Laredo, the Mexican state south of Texas... The governor is listening to Abbott because the traffic is backed up for yep. days. Uh, so all the money and who knows what kind of side so deals they got going on. Each truck has something going on. Uh, so I think that uh, Dan is right. I think that uh, there is some positive movement as a result of his activism. And I think that that is to be ultimately applauded. I don't like stunts, but in mm -hmm. this case, I like what he's doing qu more quietly. He's doing what Trump did. Remember how Trump went to Mexico and said, listen, they're walking 1,400 miles but through your turf. Uh, you know, uh, if, you want to do, if you want to do business with us, you got to do your share. Last word, Judge. I think that, first of all, I think he's terribly frustrated. I think that Governor Abbott has had to deal with this and the complaints of people who live in Texas, the ranchers on the border, the drugs, the rape trees, which I won't even talk about. 
uh, and all these kids that they find along the border unaccompanied by adults, little children, little babies. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But what I, I think is also interesting is that now Ron DeSantis is saying, you know, don't come to Florida. We're going to uphold the immigration laws of the United States. Do not come here. And by the way, our social programs are designed to serve the citizens of our state, and the governor will protect the sovereignty of the state of Florida. So it's going to be very interesting to see what DeSantis is going to do when he says, if you come here illegally, you've done a great disservice, and uh, we encourage you to go back to where uh, you came from. There's a legal process, and we will uphold the law. So I think there's more to come here, and I think that if they're in Florida, I suspect that, that Ron DeSantis is going to do the same thing. He'll do another Send them. Yeah. And, He'll and you do know what? Stuff. He'll it's dump only them in fair. Disney. You know what? It's only fair. And I'll tell you why, Geraldo. There are parts of this country that are on the border that are suffering, and the rest of us have no idea what's going on. I'll tell you, I'll take four migrants if they take kill meat. Uh, four for one? Yes. Yeah, that sounds like we a Yankee. come out ahead. Yeah, Yankee Ray deal. I did not know I was up for a trade. <laughs> yes. I have a no trade clause. behind clothes. the You're scenes. I have a no agent. trade clause, so I wouldn't be here. Thank you, Greg. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.